so a brand mission is a clear statement of what your brand does, who it serves and the value it pr provides. So you need to focus on your core purpose and the problem you solve for your customers. So for example, if you're a gift bag or box supplier, um, your mission might be, our mission is to provide eco-friendly, stylish and affordable packaging solutions. So, you know, it's thinking about what they're delivering, what the, what the um, problem is for your customer as well. And, you know, and if you were um, a wholesaler, for example, you might say you offer exceptional products that meet our customers' needs and deliver outstanding value, ensuring a seamless and satisfying shopping experience. So you're talking about the experience and that's your mission as a wholesaler, um, mm -hmm. wholesale seller. <laughs> that's what I meant. Okay. And then brand vision. So. So the brand vision is a forward looking statement about what your brand aspires to become. So that means consider your long term goals and the impact you want to make for your brand. So I'll have another example again. So the vision might be our vision is to lead the global market in sustainable packaging. And if you are a wholesale seller, you might want to say to be a leading brand recognized for quality, reliability and innovation, continuously growing and adapting to the evolving marketplace. So, you know, don't think small, think bigger as well. So, you know, you're, you are still trying to appeal to your audience, whether you're an arbitrage seller, whether you're a wholesale seller or a, brand, a private seller as well. So it's really important to have a vision in place as a company and a brand. And then the yeah, and I think that's becoming even more of a, a big thing now with the younger generations as well. They're looking more and more for uh, a brand vision and the values behind the brand to uh, support them and want to use their products. Yeah, and often the the brands I've worked with, they don't have them. I said, like, well, so I, I always mm -hmm. I always start with a questionnaire. I ask them what they want. They really don't know. So then I kind of do it for them. I, I to clay all these, all their information, I define it for them as well. And it's really important to have that. And they think, oh, actually, yeah, you're right. We, that's what we, and to be honest, they do kind of know what their vision and mission is, but they've not put it down on paper. And it's really important as, as you grow that, that vision and mission, you keep looking back at it and you can adapt it as you grow as well. It doesn't mean you can't, you know, if you're a small brand, um, but it's important to have that from the, the get go as well, when you're creating that brand. And if you don't have one yeah. now, then you, it's time to sort of actually start thinking about that as well, because that it, it will be very helpful. <laughs> and make sure they're they're real, right? Don't just throw on there, you know. Yeah. Stop climate change. Protect the Amazon. Save the whales. Uh, if you don't, yeah. if you're not really doing something about that, I think a lot of businesses take advantage of those things and just throw it out there and don't actually do anything about it. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah. You know do things that you're actually or talk about things that you're actually doing and actually believe that's in. right practice what you preach Tech, you know you have to believe in what you what you are what your brand is as well so it's yeah and the brand va brand values so they are the core principles and beliefs that guide your brand's behavior so decision making the interactions and they define your brand's they define what your brand stands for and how it conducts itself. So, you know, you need to reflect on what matters the most to your brand. What principles do you refuse to compromise on? You know, consider your brand's culture, the ethics and the standards you want to uphold. So your values should resonate with your audience and be evident in every, everything you do. So an example would be commitment to quality, integrity in all dealings and a customer first approach that drives every decision we make. So that is really important to have, you know, these things, the, the mission, the vision and the values. Those are the main things to have before you even start thinking of creating a brand.